first pick, uh, Telekinesis is pretty good, but it's generally just kind of a worse Kera. Can be a better Kera, but a bit less consistent. Kera's a good un uh, good card, as is Shani though. Shani relies on playing out round 1 or round 2. So, slightly weaker in that respect, so I think I'll go with Kera. I think I'll try building a deck that... You know... Just dry passes round one. And then you kind of just uh, win round three with a lot of golds. I'd say Ioana's actually good. Over Parasite, I think. I will not be taking a second one simply because of the ability of getting Shoop later on. We'll get reinforced Trebuchet here. Ancient Foglet Ale or Wild Hunt either. I have no synergy with any of these. Um, currently, people. I don't know, we've got one weather clear. But I still am not a fan of going into triple row. Getting Ale now could allow me to pick up something that plays special cards. And it is a 12 rather than a 10, so yes, this is fine. Let's see, Geralt is good, this is kind of bad, this is bad, this is kind of bad. I think we actually go Geralt here. I think on average it's gonna be better than the others. And they're going with Vrykhead Brigade. Ghoul, very good. Could go for more healing, we could go for carryover, we don't really need the carryover, this is actually a bad card if we're just die passing. Um, Manganel's kind of bad, but we could find some reveals. Just by mistake, I guess. Mandrake's okay, Pohim is probably better. Boar doesn't seem to have a great target right now. Ball City is quite bad. A seed is actually good because we have Roach. Do we pick the first duplicate here? No Shoop. Eskal's quite strong. Hmm. True Form's okay. It's just an average amount of points on the... Uh, generally. I think I'll take Eskel. I think he has a higher chance of being good. Though a higher amount of golds makes Eskel kind of worse as well. Uh, Panther's okay. Light Longship's good. Especially with Yoan. And, um, right, we didn't pick the second Healy boy. Honestly, a Darren with double reinforced Trebuchet could be okay. We take second for he, uh, for him. I think I will. Instead of a Murvud or a Jotun. Third one of these. Sure. Um, Rig is a 14. This is a 12. I'll take the 14. As well as killing an engine. Elton Scout. This one's a Tuffy. This is a 12. This is a 13. So I'll just take this. And I don't have any movement. So this isn't that great. Bridge troll might be better, but we have no weather either. I'll take Kalvit because I'm not looking for anything specific with Francesca. So we're looking at a deck with a lot of bronzes, but we also have a lot of silvers. So at least we've got some power here. We even have some synergy between silvers and bronzes. And the bronzes we've got are generally good. Outside of a few of them, uh, they're quite good cards. Manganel is bad. Ancient Fog that's bad. Bridge Troll is bad. Brigade's pretty bad. The others are good engines though. Or just good solid points in these two cards. Uh, first Light's fine. Mahakamales are fine. We didn't pick up any majors. So First Light's probably going to be used for weather clear. 
We've got some gold, so we have to be very careful when to use them. We probably save them. Eskel's the only one we can use early on because people tend to save golds for round three. So we can get rid of we can use this earlier. I feel like this is the type of deck that it can't actually win in a long round three, but I think it I don't know. It's got a lot of engines. So I think my best chance is still probably winning a long round three. Or at the very least bleeding in a long round two and gaining card advantage that way. Let's give it a shot. And we might get the five wins. Versus an Eredin. Okay. It should be fairly okay. Kalvi, thankfully, is a very good leader to have. I'll be tossing the A, I'll be tossing the Rauch, obviously. Um, and then, yeah, we've got quite a few engines here. We've got four engines. We don't have a Yoanna longship combo. So this is just what I'm going to pass. So Ghoul's another one of those cards where like I need to have something in my graveyard for it to work. But I guess with this it's still an 11. It's not amazing though. If our opponent bleeds us, we have some very low tempo plays and if he's got high tempo he might gain, might gain card advantage. It's quite interesting. If he just passes, then we're we're playing Mangonel. We've got like five engines for round three. We've got some big cards and the gold with Roach. So that's 11 points in there. Hmm. If he plays this, it's an. If I play this, it's kind of annoying, but I guess uh, I think Manganel catches up. Mm, no, it doesn't. I would need to play something bigger. Okay, so he managed to create Striga from my deck. Slightly annoying. Okay. We need to do 19. I think only Kara can do it. Kara being 15 plus Roach. I'll just play. Ooh, here's a good time to play that. And the order is left to right, so this triggers before the trap triggers. Really good for me. Okay, rain is not that bad. We could try and find a brigade. There's nothing wrong with this, I think. Yeah. This is fine. Should not have come here. This should work, yeah? This triggers... Yeah, it does. Nice. Nice combo then. 
We're still playing in the rain, which isn't great, and he can still pass here, but now Striga catches up. You know? So we're, we're looking pretty solid. At this point, I'm thinking of just passing him by playing, you know, Kara plus armor here. Got the armor on, so rain doesn't do damage. And then, you know, longship doesn't do damage either. Uh, if he just does that, I think we can... Can Striga and pass. If this had hit armor, actually... Uh, yeah, I didn't quite realize this had to not hit armor. But it's fine. We're looking okay. Um, I'm somewhat afraid of tossing the Aeol just because Roach is in my deck, but there's also a few golds, so I'll take the risk. Just got my engines out early. <laughs> Probably should have played this first. Right. Nice goal. I think I want to play these boys before I play this, but I definitely want to play a gold before I play either of these as well. Okay. Not the end of the world. Let's get this over with. Get the Geraldo out. This is fine. Okay. I'm gonna play into two different rows. I would love to do Araha's Venom with this card, but he needs to play something else into front row. So I can do Joachim. Oh, he doesn't actually, because right, this this works. Oh, doing damage is even better now. I lied. But I'll still do the damage. And now something special. This is the most points I can get. Not sure what I'm gonna lock yet. He hasn't played something I can lock. He hasn't played any big combo either, you know. That's a... Pretty bad card. This could hurt. Eighteen point silver, quite strong. Still don't have a good Marvud target. There it is. There's a decent Marvud target. Um. Eskel has a 6 to hit. Is that the biggest Marwood I'm gonna get? I think it is. So it's 14 points. It's a Striga, essentially. Okay, we're 8 points ahead. Should've played this into the mid row. Would've gotten 2 more points. 24 though. He needs 24. I don't think he's got it. Okay, good. So I wanna get rid of the bronzes, actually. This is the worst. Eh, eh that's fine. This bronze is pretty bad, but this one's... Eh, it, it works well if he's got a woodland of some kind. I think it's cool that it goes. Try pass, get rid of Ancient Foglet. A Seer's gonna be somewhat worthless, isn't she? Unless he manages to kill Roach, then I think we'll be okay. So just toss this here. What is it that we're looking for? 
None of those for sure. To help one or the other. None of those for sure. Okay, we want to hit the biggest card with this. So maybe the 11. Maybe we just play the 11 here. I mean, I'll play, play the engine first and then play the 11. Wait for 10 turns or 8 turns and then play Joanna for, you know, 16 plus 6. We shall see what the future holds. Unless he manages to kill this off. Then I'll be somewhat sad. We're definitely looking to get as much value from Darren as well as Joanna here. If that's a lock, that's a problem. Do we unlock it? I think unlocking is actually correct here. It's one point per turn. When it hits a seer, it's three points per turn because of Joanna. I do have to play this card though. I do have to play it next turn. Okay. Unlock was wrong then. <laughs> Somewhat annoying because I have to use Eskel before I can Wahim. I'm assuming he put one of my golds at the bottom, so I'm not gonna be getting those. Reinforced Trebuchet might be the best card we could get here. Might be. We'll see. I feel honored, truly. Never mind. We are 13 points behind down the card. Wait, this is round two. I just realized we played into round two. You see, I was planning on not playing into round two. Sure, no problem. Because we have really low tempo plays. I guess if we use Hohim here, we might be able to overtake. For some reason, my, my head was just thinking this is round 3 already. No wonder we're down 2 cards. Okay, so we just have to out-tempo him now. That seems like not a great... Mm, not a bad one either, though. I shall flog them into submission. Okay, equal points. Now we just have to overtake somehow. Play a mage for weather, please. Ryan! It's not a mage for weather. That's for sure. I forgive you this time. Oh boy. I think Yorana is going to be the card I toss away. Yes, one. Oh, Yorana seems to be a card I'll be keeping, Armor or while using. Armed. Should have probably used this on the back row. 11 points. They're dead already. Does he have nine? He just needs nine. Oof. I'm not sure if I even want to keep this. This is just 15. This is a nine. BTM's bad for me. 
Scorch is bad for me. Cards that pull cards from his deck are good enough as well. I just don't see how he can brick. I'm pretty sure I'm just going down the card in round three. Well, it was because I played into round two. I, I thought this was round three. Some things cannot be forgiven. Deep boy. Okay. I'll be passing here. This is a 15, this is some amount of points, this is some amount of points. Sadly we can't hook him into hook he. That wouldn't be good, would it? Nope, that would be quite bad actually. Your will be done. Not good for I him though. Maybe we can put the bad card back into his deck? Like a... An 11? A 6? Yes. In case he's got something like a DJ or a Vilgefortz, it could give me a win. Every now and then, you know? I'll play this now. All of these are very, very bad. Wow. Hop to it, knaves. Still ahead. Piece of lembers. I don't like men who turn me down. So if Roach actually went front row, eh, I don't know. Unlucky. Next one. You've got the heart of an uncrit. Redemption. Let's go. Yeah, let's redeem ourselves. Oof. Top one. So Roach's here isn't actually that great in this deck, just because we don't have enough enough goals to consistently trigger them. We do have to dare and reinforce trap synergy right now. That's quite good. That game I could have had a draw. If Kara was placed into mid row. I wasn't sure if Roach comes out first or second. Because if it had come out first and it landed on the same row as Kara, I wanted to wanted to um, Thunderbolt Potion. So I could get the armor as well. In that situation, I think I would have won. Mm, actually, I'm not sure. I would gain three points, so it would be a... Now he would win by one, yeah. Dry pass here. Yep. I was thinking if there was any merit into playing round one. Very slight, but I think the drawbacks are too hard for this deck. We don't have carryover, we only have one lock and we don't have it in our deck, in our hand. And we actually have a pretty good long round, considering...
but it's like not the first thing I'd like to see, but I think it's okay in the case of Golden Weather, we'll be tossing the Manga now. Did not want to draw this card, but this is a good one to toss away, because we can just put it back later on with this here. Ghoul doesn't have a target right now, so if this is a random card from our deck, and it's cool. Hmm, not the greatest. I'll be tossing the first light away. Nice, we even found a gold. Perfect. That's quite good. So looking at the Seer, it's setting Roach back. We've got the Geraldo for Roach. We've got two Joachims. Now we also have Art Spore, Reinforced Trebuchet, and Terran. Hopefully these two don't die. If he has no removal for these two cards, we're very, very happy. Okay, it's armor, but I don't really mind. It's not gonna be hitting armor past this turn. Um, it's not what I like to see. Yes. What is it? Not what I like to see at all. So I'm gonna be playing Geralt, and then I'll be playing these two cards. These two cards. Not your lucky day. A Mor Morvood would be okay versus that. I'm not sure what else could work though. It's an Askel. Pretty good Askel. I shall flog them in submission. Hmm. Gives my ghoul plus three points though. If he's got any kind of Gigni, Scorch, it's gonna hurt me a lot. But I. I don't know, would he have played Cynthia if he had cards like that? With Gigni, sure. With Scorch, I'm not sure about that. Ashiru's uh, painful. a few big boys on board right now but uh we didn't get any engines and yana is not looking great right now especially because he's most likely just going to be damaging my boosted units I can kill that off right now or I can do this first. I think I'll do this here. first. So this can play Ale. Mm, playing Ale here is annoying because I can hit that. Can play First Light as well. Okay, I like First Light, honestly. More than the other one. The storm is coming. Let's enjoy the weather while we still can. Because it... I was gonna say, it often grabs me, um, a reinforced trebuchet. I still have two of them. Or a light longship. Both would be great here. Oh, that's a great Striga target. Much better than, um, Dragoon. What are they looking for here? Hmm. Hard to say. Sarit's so only, only doing seven, which is me. I really want to play Darren, actually. I think that's what I'm looking for here.
at least so he grows to like seven or eight depending on what we get here if we get um the mage that does you know six different damage or like two damage to six things and this actually grows quite a bit that's a really good Morvood. it's quite annoying but that's fine still technically ahead after my play and it is a setup play for the other cards I'm gonna play. So we're looking for Kara off of this, I think. Never mind. Won't happen. So they're looking for her, as I said. Uh, we could just Kara right now. Mm. We actually found Van Hemer. I'll just go for it. Do damage. Nice. Said they drop these down to three, so. Mm. Oh, nice, we can. Okay. Definitely gonna serry this one. You must sweat like a swine in that jacket. Joanna doesn't appear to be a good play. Askel, however, sure, no problem. quite strong here. Actually, very strong here. Problem is, Joanna's a six right now, At times, and a six probably doesn't win. Sure. And say it does. Like always. Hmm. GG. I this could potentially be our last game, but I still believe we can still go 9 and 2, okay? No, not that this deck can actually get to 9 wins, but you know, just, just saying. Does the Manganel instead of the Ancient Foglet. I don't have any additional synergy, so it's just a 9 compared to a 10. Or it could be a 10 if Darren actually ever survives. Hmm. Our end's not looking bad. We've got three engines. So that's pretty okay. Ancient Foglet will just be tossed to, to win the round that he my opponent will dry pass in. Manganel can go. This is a 12 compared to a 9, so we'll keep the 12. We've got two golds. Ooh, that's a good hand for this deck. Hmm. This is interesting. Do I want to overtake him already? Or do I just take it a bit slower? I think we can take it a bit slower and play this first. And then we've got Ancient Foglet if he passes now. Fine. Should have probably played Art Spore first, bait out removal. I guess this is. Mm, it's. I don't know if it's better or not. Not that Striga could hit this, anyways. Wow, that's quite a good play. Will we just more wood this for points? I think we do. Don't have weather clear. So I'm not sure what exactly I'm gonna do. Maybe just put armor on things here. Again and again and again. This is a toughie.
I kind of need to find weather clear. I feel honored, truly. It's already a thirteen point potion. Is this a beast now? Okay, so this is doing nothing right now. Because moonlight doesn't trigger. I'm confused. I could have searched for this earlier, but I guess it's fine. The quill is mightier than He's the using poet here, okay. I don't know, he just seems to be committing a lot to bleed. I'm assuming this is a 14. I could see it also stealing the 5, or the 4 I guess, My next turn. A4. Bit trap. Not amazing. Fine. They're dead already. Okay, so this is the 14 one. The reveal it is. It'd be. Because I've played specials already. And it's not Moran or Malina or the regular ambush sappers. So it's gotta be the Ruvial. Twelve points does catch up here. Okay. So yeah, this does catch up. Gets me ahead even. Now we can pass. We've actually got a very solid round 3, honestly. That's, that's a pretty big one. Okay, I'll keep. This is actually 15, so I'm okay with it. I shall do as you and we can make our opponent's deck worse by putting Bridge Throw back into it. We could have also maybe put, uh, sorry. Could have maybe put Van Hemer into our deck, since he's a pretty good card. I'm not sure though. It's the van. I will be playing this That's first. Technically, I could find the ON. No. Yeah. So I'll play this first. And then I'll play Joachim, and then I'll play Kulvit. I don't think it really matters which order I do it in, but... I'll do it in that order. Humans have no place in Broccolon. I could do it. I could do Kalvit first and then see which card will be pulling with Joachim as well, this but this is fine. Oh, times I miss the eyes. Okay, that's 12 plus a 6, that's 18. Plus another five. The great mother's grace is boundless. 
Oh, and that's a dead card. Okay, we've got a chance now. Yes, thank you very much. Don't mind if I do. You should not have come here. This is a 10, this is an 8, this is a... maybe an 8. I'll just take the 10. The consistent 10. And that is a winning, right? Shoop stealing a 16, what does that win? Oh, well the 25 doesn't win, so I'm not sure why he went for that one. Okay, we actually got it, easy. Okay, obviously we gotta toss the roach, just the bridge troll. Where's my Darren? Where is my Darren with this hand? This is the hand for Darren. <clears throat> Unlucky, lost the coin flip. <clears throat> So yeah, Darren would be really strong here as long as they he doesn't have like four removal. If he has zero removal somehow, then we've got so many points with Darren. Unless he's got a lock or any way to kill it. For me, Bilberry's honor. Okay. What's our passing play though? Like, what do we play here? Pass the round. Maybe a Seer. Roach redraw. We got Joanna. That's okay. Manganel. I guess it's Manganel. It's a nine. This is an eleven, at the minimum. We can keep things from the graveyard so that he can't caretaker or shani, you know, or ghoul or al ghoul. Could also move with that. Actually, I probably should have, considering we've got so much random damage that won't actually be dealing any damage if it hits wrong with. Probably should have moved with that. My bad. That was, a, that was a Dumbo play. So this is only an 11, so I'll just toss it. Thankfully we didn't draw a Roach. Definitely have to play this before Joachim or beat. Wow. Okay. Nice, solid. Long as we're not hitting Ronvid, we're happy. Even though that's 19, he still took the 4 damage back, so... I'm okay. not the end of the world. New orders? No? Ah. Long live. Okay, I'm just gonna play RNG. Ah, okay. Nice. Keep being good at hitting stuff. I was looking for maybe like a light long ship here. That's the one card I was really looking for. There'll be nothing to pick up when I'm done with you. Just gonna kill the roach. Okay.
Mm. Ronvid finally dies. Uh, slightly annoying. Nice. Keep hitting that back row. Okay then. Oh, that's a machine. We can get a machine. Or we can get Sarit. I'll get a machine from my deck. You are dogs. And I shall treat you as such. We'll probably just see Oana on this one. You annoy me. I really should have played Geralt first. Whoops. That was my mistake. Thankfully you didn't get punished for it. I probably should have, but that's fine. Tiny vettles. Hungry like a wolf I am. Damn it. Mero is just gonna die needlessly, I guess. So it doesn't really matter. <clears throat> Hmm, I guess only healing for 7 is fine, because it saves this as well, so it's 14, that's 20 already. Quite good. That is 3 15s in the row, but I guess that doesn't actually matter. Nice. Hmm, okay. Beast or man makes no difference to me. Should probably put this back in. Ever danced with a demon in the light of the full moon? Okay. Let's see. I shall be as you can. I think runestone and maybe more food go back in. Yeah, more food's a sixteen. That's good enough. And if this takes damage, then Hemer is disgustingly good for me as well. So, runestone's good. I didn't put the Roach back in because even if I hit a gold with Kalvit, it won't count for Roach. It will not play Roach from the deck because it has to be from hand. Also, this 21 actually isn't that great because uh, Unseen Elder. So, he's currently ahead of me by a few points. Hmm. Do we Darren? Uh, Darren's a 9. Then it's a 12. If I take Joachim, we get the 9 plus weather clear. So we heal for 4. I mean, we heal for 2. So we get 9... 11 plus 5, 16. That's better than Darren. Too bad it's not Joachim into Darren. Actually, I'll do this one. I'll take an additional damage to deal one damage. No, that's probably wrong, right? That's definitely wrong. Because we could be hitting Ronvid with that random damage, so I might be losing. But I think he's got enough to win here. It's close. Definitely a close one. That's it. 2-3. Let's look at the rewards we got. Bam.